Hey y'all. Today was hot. It was about 86 degrees and we had a very high level of humidity which is not super common for this area. I just kind of stayed inside most of the day. I did walk around the garden and everything earlier just to check on how everything's doing and we've got a ton of little plants coming up from pumpkins to green beans, snow peas, potatoes. Everything is really starting to come up now. But another thing that's starting to come up is weeds. A lot of grass type weeds, which makes sense because it was a grassy field before we tilled it. And I've just been kind of inside, all waiting for the sun to go down a bit so that I could get outside and do a little bit of weeding. But I also really want to take care of that uh, rhubarb plant today. So I think we're going to take care of that. I have my handy dandy knife. I don't think I'm allowed to show you that per YouTube guidelines. And I want to get that cut, work on a little bit of weeding, and then go in and get that rhubarb processed in order to make sure it's preserved until I figure out what I want to use it for. It's still so bright out here. I'm just squinting all the time. So I. Sorry about that, my squinty eyes. But the dogs are happy. They're out and playing in the yard, so it's all good. I have espresso coffee that I'm going to have as cold brew waiting for me inside once I complete my chores. But I've got to do this, get the some of the weeding done, get the rhubarb cut, then I need to do watering, and then I'll film um, the rhubarb after that and drink my iced caramel latte with it. So for now I just gotta grab a couple of things and we'll go out in the garden. This rhubarb is so massive. Yeah, I don't have a lot of experience with rhubarb other than the rhubarb that my grandmother had in her yard when I was growing up and every year we'd make pies and cakes with it. But other than knowing it's supposed to be that bright red color, I'm not 100% sure how to know if it's ready. So I guess I will just go off of the look of it. Because I see some of it that's clearly not ready. Like this one here is not all the way red. But there's some that are in here that are. So I'm just going to look for ones that are clearly red and... Actually, I'm going to look this up. Well, Google says that this rhubarb is well past ready to be harvested. So, let's get to it. Oh my god, it's so big. I need my knife. There's one. Look at that. These are amazing.
I know that one thing is for sure is that I'm going to have to go buy more sugar before I attempt to make rhubarb anything. Because I just realized um, with the canning and everything, I, I was getting sugar for the sugar container for my coffee um, this morning. And I realized that we were out of sugar. And that means that since last July, we've gone through 75 pounds of sugar. And, I mean, I've canned more than that to where I've used even more in a year. But that still seems like a lot. But I did do a lot of canning this um, last fall, so I guess that makes sense. Oh man, that one's all broken through. I had to take a break for a minute. I realized that um, my need for espresso coffee was not going to wait until after I had finished the watering. I realized very quickly that if I wanted to get through chores for the evening, I was going to need that coffee up front. So after my break, I'm back. I'm going to do the watering and then we will go inside and process that rhubarb and get it preserved so that we can use it later in either canning or various recipes. Hey y'all, it's about 9 p.m. and um, the watering's all done. I weeded as much of the garden as I could get done tonight. That's gonna be a job for tomorrow again. Um, I need to get this um, rhubarb cleaned up and stored so that I can use it later when I decide on the recipes I want to use it for. And to do that, first step is we're just going to give it a quick rip. Now I'm just going to basically cut this in about half inch pieces and store it in a freezer bag in the freezer until I'm ready to use it. I will likely end up making jam, like a rhubarb jam or something like that. And I definitely will end up making a pie, and I want to make the cake that my grandmother used to make. That sounds delicious. It's been so many years since I had it. I can, I mean, it's been, probably 20 years. So I look forward to trying to make it and get it right. kind of dried up while the rhubarb was setting today. So I'm just cutting those ends off so that some of this is hard to cut. I'm cutting those ends off because I don't want to eat those now.
always remember rhubarb as being really sour, but when you put it with strawberries, it's good. All right, all. The rhubarb is cut up. I'm going to put that in the freezer. Then I'm going to come in here. I'm going to clean up my kitchen just a little bit. Get the house done for the night. Grab my dinner. Sit and relax for a little while. Tomorrow's another day. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Probably banana bread and garden weeding. Bye.